Hey DIYers and welcome back to becoming a front-end developer. Today we're just going to do a really simple hello world video. It's kind of customary to do this I think anyway so I should probably do it just to honor the development gods. But first of all I want to get you guys kind of acclimated to a very simple very powerful text editor. So let's go ahead and hit sublimetext.com and just download it for your browser and just hit just click download for OS X uh, I wonder I think it's the same I think it looks the same for Windows but you'll just download it install it I already have it installed here um, but that is a very simple and powerful and to be honest we're gonna keep adding functionality to it moving forward so get that it has a pretty long trial period so you don't have to buy it right away so you can kind of start playing with it and understanding it and seeing if it's worth it to you. And, and it might not be. You may be able to find a different one you like, but this will allow you to get started right away quickly with a very solid text editor moving forward. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to open up Sublime Text here. So let's create. So we're going to go ahead and save this to the desktop. We'll call it. No, we're going to save this to the desktop. We'll call it hello.html. We'll save that. All right, so first we're going to start with a doc type. Doc type. And we're going to call it HTML is the doc type we're going to use. So then we're going to do an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag. Then we're going to do an opening head tag. And we'll throw a title in there and we'll call it Tech Guy DIYs. Hello world. And then we'll close that header tag. I'm going to go into much more detail into what each piece is and in, in future videos. I just wanted to do this quick, you know, just just kind of demystifying web development. Make sure that you understand that this is not this is not rocket science. And, you know, there's definitely higher level concepts, but to get a web page going is, there's almost nothing. There's no, you could do this with your text editor. Um, so let's do body tag, closing body tag. And then for starters, let's just throw an H1 tag in there and we'll call it, uh, you know, hello world. So an H1 tag is a header tag. So browsers by default have H1 through H6. Each of them have their own little bit of styling differences, but each one through six has its own weight. So bold, like a certain amount of bold, and a font size. And I think they're all bold, it's just the font size. Each six might not be bold, I can't remember. But that's not important at the moment. But it's just a quick way to differentiate your text from header text and paragraph text. So we'll go ahead and throw a paragraph in there too from... Tech Guy DIY. So you can see the difference. So we'll save that. And we'll go ahead and open up hello.html. And there you go. You have a web page. It's very simple, but it is a web page. So now we're going to add just a little bit of interactivity to it. So we'll say, so let's go ahead and close this. So let's add a button. Button. Uh, we'll call it. Um, Shout out. We'll close that button tag. Right, save that and we'll open it up again just so you can see what it looks like. So if we click that, nothing happens. Okay, that's fine. So let's throw an attribute on this tag called on click. And then we'll in that on click we're gonna put in we're gonna call a function. <laughs> We'll call it name prompt. Open parentheses, close parentheses. So inside the H, the head tag, let's do a script tag. So we'll do script, script, close tag, and let's create a function. So to create a function, you're just going to do a function, and then we're going to name it name prompt, just like we did below. So not every language does this but it, they all look pretty similar if not the exact same as what you're seeing right here for declaring a function 
So basically the premise is when you click this button, it's going to trigger this on click event. And that on click event is going to call the name prompt function, which is this. So when that's triggered, anything inside this will fire. So let's do something with it. So let's do variable. So we're going to create a new variable called name. And then that variable is going to be equal to prompt, which is, again, just a, a pop-up that pops up from your browser. And the first bit of text is going to be what's above the text box in that prompt. So we'll say enter your name. Next bit will be the default text. We're not going to put anything in there. Um, so now when it clicks, you're going to get on, click. Let's go ahead and demo it real quick. So when you click shout out, you're going to get a little prompt that says enter your name. So if I enter Jason, boom. Oh wait, nothing happens. That's because we haven't handled anything with that data. We're just prompting him for the data. So let's jump back to our text editor and we'll say if name is not equal to null we'll say document which in JavaScript that calls the the page itself and it's going to look for a get element by ID so let's put an ID on this h1 tag so we'll say ID is equal to header so we're going to do get element by ID header and then we're going to say the inner HTML of that is equal to, and the inner HTML is everything in between these opening and closing tags. So right now it's just a hello world is what it is. So we'll do hello space. Anytime you're dealing with strings, you want to wrap them in quotes, double or single. doesn't matter as long as they, as long as you have a matching beginning and end quote. And you'll do a plus sign, which basically takes whatever you're about to put in front of that plus sign and adds it to the string. So we'll do name. So that's going to take that name variable and add it to hello space, and it's going to be the name that you entered. And we're going to add another plus, and we're going to create the string and finish it. So we're going to do comma space. We'll say welcome to our world. Exclamation point. And we're going to close it. So now, in theory, you should be able to open this up, hit shout out, and I'll say, hello, Jason. So now it should say, hello, Jason. Welcome to our world from Tech Guy DIY. And there you have it. That is all it takes. Now, granted, I know that there's some concepts in there that are new, some concepts that you probably don't quite understand, but... This can be done for free with any text editor out there. This technology is extremely accessible, and that's, that's my goal here is to show you how accessible this is with everything I'm doing here. Not just Hello World, but everything moving forward is this technology is accessible, and if you want to learn it, you can. So that's it for today. Very simple, straightforward tutorial. Check back next week for more stuff. Thanks DIYers for watching as always. Take care.